Here is a cautionary tale for all diabetics. This patient came to my office after developing an infection in her foot a week prior to this visit. Due to her diabetic neuropathy, she was unaware that a nail had penetrated through the sole of her shoe and punctured her foot. It was not until there was swelling, drainage, and a little pain in the foot that she realized what happened and saw the nail in her shoe. Watch to the end of this video for tips for what you can do to avoid this problem. So a nail went through your shoe about mm -hmm. a week ago, mm -hmm. and punctured your foot. Yes. Did it bleed at all at the time? No. No. It didn't. Okay. Did it hurt when it first happened? No. Nope. Um. No. When it happened. So how how were you able to determine that it was definitely a nail? Because I took my shoe off and looked mm -hmm. under the back and I said, "Oh, it's a nail in my." I wonder. Okay. And how long was the uh, foot swollen up before you uh, before it started two, to get better? Maybe two days. Two days. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I looked at the picture you sent me. All right. So it looks like you had, it had punctured your foot, the nail, mm -hmm. and you developed an infection, an abscess in your foot because mm -hmm. it's still a little swollen here, and, and the, the little puncture wound is still a little weepy. So what I'm doing, I'm, de I'm debriding the area, which is shaving down the loose skin and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we can get it to heal up faster. Okay. Because it's still a little weepy and the wound is still open, I'm gonna put you on some antibiotics by mouth today. Okay. You, I want you to continue to do what you were doing with the antibiotic ointment at home. Okay. So you said it was a nail from hanging pictures. Yeah, it was Okay. Must have been pretty long to go all the way through your shoe and then... Yeah, it was. Okay. Were you putting any bandages on it or anything? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, here we can see where it's still open. Were you just using regular band-aids? Yes. Remove the scab. Okay. Now we can see the the full wound. It's not terribly deep, but it does need to heal up some more. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have you put a complete dressing on it for at least a week instead of just a band aid. Okay. All right, I'm going to want you to avoid getting bath water on this. Oh, okay. And the reason why I want you to do that, because bath water is not sterile. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, give you prescriptions for everything you're going to need okay. to take care of it, okay? Mm-hmm. You're in an awkward place. Yeah. But I've seen this in, in diabetic patients before, yeah. especially if they have uh, neuropathy. Are you familiar with that term? Yes. Uh, and, now, have you experienced anything like that? Numbers, yes. tingling, things mm -hmm. like that. So uh, these things happen. You don't feel any pain. So you don't realize there's an injury mm -hmm. until you look down and see some something in your sock, 
stain in your sock or something. Mm -hmm. And that's when you need to take care of it. All right, hold on a second. Okay. Put this in going to be taking care of this for you at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. good. Make sure you put this on the same way I'm doing it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands thoroughly. Always use gloves. Mm -hmm. okay. Come around the ankle one time. Oh, wow. You want to make sure everything stays in place. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's more than just a band-aid, something like this. Mm -hmm. Because Hopefully within a week. Work, what you get, you mm -hmm. Oh, well, mm -hmm. look at that mm -hmm. And the, uh, the day I called to make the appointment, mm -hmm. that's when I check my foot. Every diabetic should check their shoes carefully before putting them on. Check the entire circumference of the shoe, looking for anything that may have penetrated the outside of the shoe into the shoe. That includes the sole. You want to look for anything sharp, like a nail, a needle, a rock, a shard of glass, a piece of seashell if you were on the beach, anything that can penetrate the shoe and get to the foot. Before putting it on, also, you should remove the insole and inspect the inside of the shoe all the way down to the toe. Not just with your eyes, but you should also feel with your hand for anything that may be lumpy, bumpy, or sharp. Doing these things and getting into the habit of doing this every time you put your shoes on can save you a lot of problems in the future. All my diabetic friends get in the habit of doing this and take care of your feet. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up. To see very interesting cases and my approach and techniques to dealing with them and to learn how you can improve your foot health, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. Most importantly, take care of your feet.